Nord Stream 2. I said, why is Germany spending billions and billions of dollars to Russia to get their energy from Russia, and then we're supposed to protect Germany from Russia? What's that all about? So close, yet so far. The Nord Stream 2 pipeline meant to carry gas from Russia to Germany is nearly finished. But Germany is still having to defend the project from critics who say it hands undue influence to Russia. Our opinion is that Nord Stream 2 should be completed. It is a project that is run by Russian and European industries. It would send a strong signal for Germany to say right now that it will withdraw from this project that comes at the expense of Lithuania, Estonia, Latvia and Poland. That would help unify Europe. This pipeline splinters it. Today we're coming to you from the gasometer in the heart of Berlin. Now, it's hard to imagine now, but gas used to be pumped into homes from gas supply tanks like this one built in 1910. Now, it's been decommissioned a long time ago, but the question of how to power Germany or Europe is an enduring one. For Germany, at least part of the answer for the future lies in the Nord Stream 2 pipeline. Now, that's a controversial choice, and we'll get into why. But first, here's a closer look at the project. All seemed well between Germany and Russia back in 2018, when Vladimir Putin and former German Chancellor Gerhard Schröder celebrated the start of construction work on Nord Stream 2. The Nord Stream 2 pipeline is set to carry 55 billion cubic meters of Russian gas to Germany directly every year, without passing through either Ukraine or Poland. The gas will travel from the city of Vyborg in Russia along the 2,400-kilometer underwater pipeline through the Baltic Sea to the German coast. It's almost complete. There are just 150 kilometers still to be laid. But in July this year, the US threatened sanctions against all individuals and companies involved in the pipeline. Work on the project halted. It even looked like it might be scrapped, much to Washington's delight. In 1973, the first gas shipments from the former Soviet Union arrived in West Germany. It was the height of the oil crisis and the US was furious. Since then, the Soviet Union and later Russia have worked hard to step up energy supplies to Germany, even though there have been plenty of political conflicts between the two countries over the years, like when the Soviet army marched into Afghanistan in 1979 to rescue its shaky communist regime. Or when Vladimir Putin annexed Ukraine's Crimean Peninsula in 2014. So far, Germany has always endeavoured to separate politics from its economic interests when it comes to Russia. But that could now change with the poisoning of Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny. Pressure is mounting on Chancellor Angela Merkel to take a firm stance. How to deal with Russia? For many, that's what the question around Nord Stream 2 is really about. This pipeline gives Russia, one, money, and two, regional influence, handed to them by Europe's power player, Germany. And some European countries like Poland and the Baltic states argue that the pipeline makes Europe too dependent on Russian gas. And the fact that the project bypasses Ukraine means that Russia can turn off supplies there while still delivering to and earning from gas sent to Western Europe. Bad politics shouldn't be rewarded with good business. At least that's what the critics say. Others again argue against conflating too many layers. Here's Michael Harms of the German Eastern Business Association. We need a reaction towards all this Russian interference, but we would say that uh, stop or to scrap the Nord Stream 2 would be uh, not the, the adequate reaction uh, because these two things are not uh, interconnected. I mean, we need first of all, with any sanctions, we need a clear political goal. What is the clear political goal in, in this atmosphere? I hear only stop Putin. Sorry, this is not a, a, a reliable and, and clear political goal. Second, you need an instrument who can act as a leverage to achieve this political goal. Both things I do not see in, in that case.
the best way would be to stick to um, just rule of law and uh, investment security. Uh, because again, uh, the project was completely approved within European regulation and uh, investment security is a value for itself. So therefore we can have a political discussion, but uh, the best way is uh, to stick to clear regulation. And uh, if not, if we take the political decision to stop the project, then it's, uh, we should clarify that within a also reliable legal framework. And that would be very problematic in that case. So if I understand correctly, the clear European position should be that this project was approved under European regulations and stopping it now could be illegal. Exactly, exactly. So we are still believing that the project will be implemented. Uh, again, we think it is a, a very important European uh, project. We think that uh, reliability of investment decisions and of our legal framework is uh, very important for us, very important for Europe, for Russia and uh, also for Germany. And we think that will be a project which does not only physically connect Europe with Russia, but also mentally and maybe even will be a future project of our uh, common uh, challenges, uh, to fight common challenges in Europe. Loftier goals of a united Europe are one thing, but let's not forget this was a really expensive project to build. And if it came to it, it'll be a really expensive project to stop. Take a look. 50% of Nord Stream 2's shares are owned by Russian energy company Gazprom. The other half are divided between five European companies. Gazprom would have to write off around 5 billion euros of investment, marking them as losses. The rest of the shares are divided among German companies Wintershall and Uniper, NG from France, OMV from Austria and British-Dutch company Shell. These partners have all invested 950 million euros each and they could demand compensation from the German government. And the companies might even go to the international courts to sue for loss of income. But it's not just that. Scrapping the pipeline might result in higher gas prices for consumers. Given the dwindling supply of gas in the Northern Sea, the best and cheapest alternative would be additional supply from Russia. So goes the argument anyway. But experts on the other side of this debate say those costs are bearable and that the Nord Stream 2 pipeline is just more trouble than it's worth. Time to speak to Claudia Kempfert of the German Institute for Economic Research. We don't need a further pipeline. We don't need Nord Stream 2. We have enough existing pipelines. Right now, the geopolitical quarrels are so intense that we should really think over whether we should really stick to this very expensive, unnecessary and also conflicting pipeline right now. It does not function as a check, I think, because uh, we could negotiate in many ways. We could cooperate in so many ways. We could cooperate on renewable energy. We could cooperate on hydrogen, on whatever products. But why, don't we, why should we cooperate on fossil natural gas? Because we don't need fossil natural gas in the future because of emission reduction goals. And also because uh, we have different goals in Europe to really simply go for an energy transition. It's very difficult to understand why the Berlin government is still uh, so much focusing on it because I think we think it's a mistake uh, because of economic reasons, because of climate policy reasons, because of energy transformation reasons, because we have to diversify energy imports. So it contradicts so many goals. Uh, it's very difficult to understand why they still, still stick to it. Well, actually, the right response would be to follow the energy transformation and go away from fossil fuel and any, any kind of source, uh, oil, natural gas and coal, uh, simply because to avoid these kind of quarrels, so geopolitical quarrels, which are increasing, there are some kind of war, uh, actually, um, now.
Well, it's very difficult to say what is the future right now because it's a very difficult project. It's almost finished, so it's most likely that it will be finished. But the question is though whether the situation will be better after it because also the US has some strategies, the Russia has some strategies. So it would be wise really to, to, move, to move forward and to go into the future without natural gas. Whichever side of the debate you're on, you probably don't feel as strongly about Nord Stream 2 as the U.S. does. The U.S. is against this pipeline, ostensibly because it affords the Kremlin too much control over the European energy market. The Americans also want to sell their own liquefied natural gas to Europe. The Americans, by the way, call it freedom gas, and they're prepared to take drastic measures in order to prevent the pipeline's completion. Drastic measures like sanctions. In fact, ever-tightening sanctions on the companies working on the pipeline have already caused a de facto suspension of the project. The latest target has been the port of Mukran in the resort town of Sasnitz. That's where the last of the pipeline operations were being held. Senators Ted Cruz, Ron Johnson and Tom Cotton wrote a letter to the ports pledging, quote, crushing legal and economic sanctions for the board members, shareholders and employees working on the pipeline. Well, that's something the people there did not appreciate. What does Trump have to do with it? Nothing. He should stay where he is and let Europe do its thing. These are Trump's political death throes. He won't be re-elected. I hope he won't be re-elected. We don't need a clown like that in world politics. I think Sassnitz knows how to defend itself against such a threatening letter. This construction has been in preparation for a long time. Now it's all supposed to get torn down. We're not going to stand for it. In case you haven't gotten it yet, Germany is in a tight spot. There are those who say proceeding with a pipeline is enabling Russia. And others still who say not completing it is bowing down to the US. The Nord Stream 2 pipeline is more than just a pipeline. The debate around it has become a proxy discussion for how Germany engages with the rest of the world. However they choose to respond next, the world will be watching.